Welcome back. Revelations that Denmark's welfare system has been lining the pockets of jihadists fighting in Syria has led to the employment minister there vowing to take action. It's after Denmark's security service reported that 36 individuals left the country to join Islamic State in Syria. And despite being out of the country, they still received more than 90,000 euros in unemployment benefits. Uh, even though seven individuals were reportedly killed in action, their funding from Danish councils continued. It is totally unacceptable and a disgrace. It must be stopped. If you travel to Syria to participate in war, to become an ISIS fighter, then you obviously do not have any right to benefits from the government. Denmark isn't the first country to discover its benefit systems being manipulated by terrorists. Britain, of course, found evidence that its social welfare had funded the jihadists suspected of carrying out the terror attacks in Paris and Brussels. As for the fallout in Denmark, we spoke to the leader of the Party of the Danes, who says the problem goes far wider. What we are seeing right now is funding of terrorism. The, the state is funding terrorism, and it is not only sponsoring uh, terrorism in, in Syria. Blood have been shed, uh, let alone the last year, in the streets of Berlin, Brussels and Paris. And uh, a little more than a year ago, it also happened in Copenhagen with, uh, with terrorism. I could continue with this, but uh, the fact is that the, the elites ignore this fact.